Hey, guess what? It's Thursday. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Travis here on Thumbs Up From, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking about face value, specifically how to check what the real face value of a ticket actually is. And we're going to talk all about it right now. Sometimes I just find myself in the position where I want to know what the face value of a ticket actually is. A lot of times it'll be before the event actually goes on sale. You just want to get an idea, a general sense of how much tickets are actually going to cost. It's good to know what the cheapest price is, what the most expensive price is, and you can kind of guess what the middle range will be based on those numbers. It also gives you a better idea of where your price points will actually be and where to look in the building to find out where you can maximize that value. So when you're trying to find those face values, this is what you're going to do. One caveat, this only works on Ticketmaster within North America. So .ca.com, that's where this works. So I know that today Tyler Creator has a pre-sale going on and I want to get an idea of how much those tickets will actually cost prior to the event going on sale. So first thing you got to do, jump on over into Ticketmaster and you got to do it in the mobile browser or on your desktop computer. So once you're there, get to the event, open up the event page and then just open up the address bar at the top. Slide on over to the right, slide, 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 and then you'll see a text that says event. Double click that, delete it, and then replace it with the word exchange. E-X-C-H-A-N-G-E, exchange. Spelling bee champ, this guy. Once you do that, you'll get to see this new landing page. It might be familiar to a few of you. This is actually the old Ticketmaster layout that they used to use to go ahead and list and sell tickets prior to the change over to where we are today. So just, you know, sometimes it's nice to see a little blast from the past. At the top there, you'll see there'll either be three or four different mini headings. And the most important one there is price range. So if you actually go ahead and click on that, it'll show you the low and high end of what the tickets actually cost. For an event that has not yet gone on sale, you'll only see two prices, the low and high end of the range. It won't give you a breakdown of the different sections. It won't give you a breakdown within each section. It's only going to show you for the entire event what is the lowest and what is the highest. One thing I want to mention here, this is the lowest and highest face value of tickets that are non-platinum, non-premium, non-VIP. This is just general standard face value pricing. You will see that sometimes these prices may not look in line at all and that's because there's either premium or VIP type seats being sold or ticket prices have been dynamically adjusted up or down depending on how the event is actually selling. So again, this is just going to give you information of face value of tickets prior to the event going on sale. Now, you may be asking, what about an event that has already gone on sale? Is there any additional information you get? And the answer is yes. If you go on into an event that has actually already gone on sale, let's take a look at Trevor Noah, for example. You could see here, once we get to the same section, the same page, there's now a breakdown of different sections with their own price ranges. Again, when you click this, you're still going to get a range of ticket prices, but now it's broken out by different sections in the venue. It's not just the whole venue, low and high. Now you can actually get a bit more more information, a bit more breakdown of how much tickets actually cost in different sections across the venue. So you have this information now. Great. What do you do with it? Again, it really is up to you what you want to do with this information. Face values, they are not generally that helpful these days when you are trying to compare ticket prices across the board because again, everything is going on the resale marketplace and because of that, everything is being priced at market value. Whether market value and face value align is basically irrelevant at this point unless you're you know, trying to make some money. This information is really more useful to someone when they're trying to buy tickets prior to them going on sale. I personally will use this just to figure out what kind of sections I want to target in the venue. Otherwise, it's just kind of a nice to know item. With that being said though, if you guys do find any other uses for face values, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Always curious to hear what you guys are thinking and doing and potentially I can uh, borrow some of those great ideas that you do have. Last thing I want to mention, if you are making any ticket purchases in the future, you can go ahead, jump into my description down below, have a bunch of links to a whole bunch of different resale marketplaces for you guys to go and check out. Any purchases you make through those links will support the channel, help me out a little bit, so always muchly appreciated. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time. I've been in Toronto for about a month now, and the one thing I need to complain about is the water. I don't know what it is. The water just has a strange 
Hey, am I crazy? I don't think so. When I was in Ottawa, I had some great drinking water. But out here, I'm finding it's it's not quite, quite the same. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. it just, I smell it, I taste it, I, I look at it, and I'm like, something isn't quite right. I, I, I don't know. <sighs> I like Ottawa water.